Peter Snell, lovely to see you back here in Auckland, but I understand the main function of this trip back to New Zealand. A bit of nostalgia down in Whanganui during the week next week. Yeah, it's the last, last race on the old grass track, which is uh, four and a half to the mile, and, and Zoe, Murray and myself and others who are in that race have been invited back same day. So it's uh, going to be a reenactment, is it? Uh, all the old blokes are going to get out and run again? <laughs> well, I hope not. Bruce Tullo is in terrific shape. I don't want to run against him, but uh, I think we're going to run a lap and a half is the idea. What's the, your memory of that race now, that marvellous night? 3.54.4, I think it was. That's right, that's right. An attempt to run under four minutes and just end up being fabulous. Uh, great last lap. So Murray Hilberg, you're also there. Lovely to see you. you where, could you remember where you finished that night? No, I, to be honest, Keith, I can't. No, I was not placed. Yeah, I, that's yeah. all I oh, really, out of the money. <laughs> out of the money. But yes. uh, as you were a breakthrough um, sub four minute miler for New Zealand, so it, this will have a, a tremendous um, memory for you, this, this kind of function. Oh, Keith, that was years before the young Snell, I can <laughs> tell you. That, that was right back uh, in 1958. So that was um, yeah. that was Murray long was an important part of miling history. <laughs> he was very important to be in that field. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Look, they're just lining up for the mile race here tonight. Uh, what do you think of conditions here in Mount Smart tonight for a good time? Well, if the wind drops, it's going to be great. But uh, I've never liked wind that much. No, no, it's, it's a bit cool too, I feel. Okay, thanks very much, uh, Sir Murray and Peters. Now let's join Brendan Telfer and John Davies at the start. We have a field of 16 starters in this feature event tonight. The Continental Airlines men's one mile three. Very fast Americans, Dale Frecker, Tim Hacker and Paul Vandergrift unbeaten in the series so far. And New Zealand's best chances, Robbie Johnson. There he is at the bottom of that first page. He could become the 20th New Zealander to go under four minutes for the mile. He's got three, as we said, fast Americans there to help him this evening. And also in the field is Michael Hindmarsh and Damien Shirley, who will do the pacemaking. So a generation later, the young man from America, Paul Vandergrift, now his chance to establish his name in 1993 as an international miler. And he's ready to go down there on the inside, one of 16 starters in this big field, gathered, of course, just behind the start-finish line. It's 1,760 yards or 1,609 oh, metres that they're running. So they do four laps and a bit. And a lot of interest tonight in the performance of uh, Robbie Johnston, who's run pretty well in this track series so far in Christchurch a week ago, didn't run in Wellington, and he may become the 20th New Zealander in the history of track and field in this country to go under four minutes for the mile. But as Murray Helberg said, conditions are a little cool here, and also it's still a rather windy night here at Mount Smart Stadium. There's Robbie Johnson, 142 in the blue strip down on the inside. At the moment, number 138. It's the pacemaker, Damien Shirley, who's uh, leading them through the 200 metres. And the third man, by the way, is Brendan Pulley uh, from uh, down by the Wellington area. But Damien Shirley is uh, from the Beachlands Club up here. And a little bit of history. We saw Hal Bergen Snell before. Shirley is coached by Arthur Lydiard. So a nice link there between the generations of milers, past and present, as the Shirley takes the field down to the start-finish line. And the bright orange there in second place is the man from St. Louis in Missouri, the 29-year-old American, Daryl Frecker. And Shirley took them through that first 440 yards in uh, just under 58 seconds. So this is a smarter pace than the, than the uh, race Snell ran in 31 years ago in Wanganui when they were just on one minute for that uh, distance. Now, Robbie Johnston, the leading New Zealander in this field at the moment, is in about eighth place. There he is in the blue. If you look through those faces, we might just see him out to the left there behind the man in the green strip. through the first lap and a half for 660 yards. Frecker, the American, he has a best time of 3.37 for 1,500 metres, which equates to around about a, a 3.54, 3.55 mile. So he should be comfortable with this pace. Now, lots of people hanging on to the pace for as long as they can. That's how you get uh, good times. Daryl Frecker now coming up to Toby to take the pace making. He's in great shape, as we saw. So they're through in just under two minutes through the 880 yards. So they're certainly on for a sub four minute mile and that's what we'd all like to see tonight. So it's the two Americans at the top of the field. In fact, there's three Americans there. And then Robbie Johnson who's moved into fourth place, the tall, slightly stooped figure there of Paul Vandergrift, who's one of, been one of the real four middle distance runners on this series. 
and in front of him the very serious figure there of Tim Hacker always staring at the ground and Mark Bowyer is there chasing in fifth place Robbie Johnson great opportunity to go into four minutes he hasn't done it and Bowyer is right behind him could we see two New Zealanders do that four minute magic that's the leading bunch of five as they come to the three-quarter mark to the home straight with just over one lap to go van der grift who's running really wide there's hacker in front of him number one three two and he is the fastest 1500 meter runner in this field hacker there in third place now van der grift doing it comfortably johnston tracking the american 301 through three quarters of a mile so it's certainly on for a sub four minute time in these rather difficult conditions van der grift is pretty quick but we saw a hacker turn in a great last lap in christchurch and robbie johnson can he run under four minutes well he's run a pretty cagey race so far johnston now van der grift goes johnson's got to go with him and he is trying to stay with him as van der grift suddenly puts five meters on this field johnston in third place Brecker there in second. Vandergriff takes off with 200 to go. I don't think anyone can stay with the long-legged American. Just like he did in Wellington. When he goes, he's fast, this man. This is the sort of form that he's been showing on the series so far. Paul Vandergriff in the United States. Brecker in second place. Johnston still there in third. It's a big ask now for Robbie Johnston. As down comes Vandergriff. He looks if he'll go one to four minutes. He does. 358.22. But we'll have to wait for Frecker and Johnson. I have a feeling they might just be outside the four minutes. But a sub four minute mile here for Paul Vandergrift. Well, Vandergrift is a very talented runner. He's got uh, junior records from high school over 800 metres, runs a great 1500. This is the event that he wants to be best in, 1500 metres, one miling. But Robbie Johnson, I'm sad to say, I think has run some hundreds of a second over four minutes. It'll be under 4-1, but it won't be under four minutes. But he had the opportunity here and Vandergrift gave it to him. Victory to Paul Vandergrift and mixed feelings, I'm sure, for Robbie Johnston. His time officially 400.85. That's the fastest time he's ever run for the mile, but he just misses out on joining that very elite club.